Good morning, everybody. Well, the legacy media is all a flutter over President Trump's little outing around Walter Reed Hospital. Let's take a little walk around the internet websites and see what the legacy media has to state. Starting, of course, with CNN. Secret Service agents denounced Trump's parade. Really, did they? According to CNN, an anonymous source, naturally, so we don't know if this anonymous source is the reporter himself, but they claim it's a current Secret Service agent. I'm not going to give CNN any credit by reading at least a little bit of this article. They don't want to name their sources. Let's go on. They also say, The president's seconds long outing underscored his relaxed attitude toward the virus and a willingness to endanger his staff. The staff they're talking about must be these said Secret Service agents who are there to protect the president. I'm sure President Trump would just as been willing to drive the vehicle himself, something he's not allowed to do. The Secret Service agents have to be within proximity of the president at all times to protect the president. It's what they signed up to do. I don't think any Secret Service agent would denounce President Trump for this, what CNN describes as a seconds long outing. Let's go on to a different legacy media news source and see what they have to say. NBC News. Trump's allies defend drive-by as doctors consider hospital discharge. Now, Again, they show a picture of President Trump in one of these reinforced Chevy Suburbans. And I would guess the glass is at least one inch thick bulletproof glass. So there's no risk at all to the public. And there is a very good reason why he wanted to go by this little drive by. Let's go on to another news source that the legacy media fully endorses. ABC News. This one just simply says, Trump COVID-19 live updates. Trump appeals to voters in tweets from hospital suite. Let's get on with that momentarily. Now let's go on to our next legacy media source, Fox News. Ready to get back. New details on Trump's medical condition as White House optimistic he may be discharged Monday. This is Monday already. This story is still what is on Fox News at this moment. Doesn't Fox News bother to update their own stories on a regular basis? Let's get on to one last news source. Breitbart Meadows. This is Mark Meadows, his head of staff. Optimistic Trump could return to White House today. Very good news indeed. Let's scroll down a little. And we see Trump surprise drive-by at Walter Reed. <laughs> and the second headline with President Trump looking out that window. White House appropriate precautions taken. Indeed, it looks like they did. He's wearing a mask. The other agents were wearing a mask. In fact, the windows were rolled up. Something that really didn't need to happen. And fake news freaks out anyway. Of course they did. And let's take a look why he might have wanted to drive by. Trump supporters rally outside. President Trump tells us why he wanted to do this, so let's go and see what he has to say. 
This is President Trump's Twitter account. Let's hear what he has to say. We're getting great reports from the doctors. This is an incredible hospital, Walter Reed. The work they do is just absolutely amazing, and I want to thank them all, the nurses, the doctors, everybody here. I've also gotten to meet some of the soldiers and the first responders, and what a group. I also think we're going to pay a little surprise to some of the great patriots that we have out on the street, and they've been out there for a long time, and they've got Trump flags, and they love our country, so I'm not telling anybody but you, but I'm about to make a little surprise visit. So perhaps I'll get there before you get to see me. Uh, but I just, uh, when I look at the enthusiasm, and we have enthusiasm like probably nobody's ever had. Our people that love the job we're doing, we have more enthusiasm than maybe anybody. So uh, it's been a very interesting journey. I learned a lot about COVID. I learned it by really going to school. This is the real school. This isn't the let's read the book school. And I get it and I understand it. And it's a very interesting thing. And I'm going to be letting you know about it. In the meantime, we love the USA and we love what's happening. Thank you. And we love you, President Trump. And we also love the United States. And that's why you went out there to thank your supporters. We get that. It's a shame the legacy media doesn't. Mm -hmm.